Hello, car floppers. Welcome to One Pack Frenzy, where we open one pack of trading cards. And it is weird, it's Wine Schwartz Wednesday, so we're opening one of those. Because I can see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Uh, this one is Kaguya sama, Love is War? I mean, maybe. Depends on where you are. And depends on whether or not who's who has the remote. Alright. English edition, 9 cards per pack, total 100 cards, 53 type, parallel. A romantic battle of the brains between geniuses unfolds on the stage of Weinschwartz. Or does it? I don't know, that's got a question mark too. Uh, <clears throat> normal. Uh, 10 double rares, 22 rares, 28 uncommon, uh, 28 common, 4 climax rares, 8 Climax Commons. We also got 7 Special, 8 Triple Rare, and 38 Special Rare. So they got more Special Rare than they have Regular Rare. Super Rare. How did that work? Oh, let's find out. I know we haven't done Wine Schwatch in a while. Because, honestly, I'd... Eh. Too many words, you know? There's like a paragraph on each card. It's it's almost as bad as goddamn Yu-Gi-Oh. But at least with Yu-Gi-Oh... Well, never mind. At least with this, it actually interacts with other cards. Yu-Gi-Oh is basically one card's its own thing. Darling Present Kaguya. Who is, uh... In a little bondage chair. Uh, Thousand Power. Level zero, cost zero, auto, when this card attacks. If you do not have another character in your backstage, you may put the top card of your deck into your waiting room. If that card is a level zero or lower character, put it in any position on your backstage. Auto alarm, that thing. Uh, if this card is at the top card of your clock, and you'll end up cleaning your clock. At the beginning of your climax phase, choose one of your characters, and that character gets... The following ability is under turn. Auto. When this card's battle opponent becomes ready, you may put that character on the bottom of your opponent's deck. Huh. Okay. That's pretty cool. Open an above board. Miyuki. 6,500 power. Level 2, cost 1. Auto. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, if you have four or more other Solshin characters, that thing, uh, you may choose one Solshin character in your waiting room and put them in your stock. Auto, when this card becomes ready. If the level of this card's battle opponent is higher than your opponent's level, you may put the top card of your opponent's clock into their waiting room, and if you do, put that character into your opponent's clock. Wait. Let's try that again. You may put the top card of your opponent's clock into their waiting room, if you do, put that character into your opponent's clock. I, mm, that, that makes no goddamn sense. Photo shoot. I ah, remember those type of flip phone cameras. Those, is a, those are weird. Uh, level one, cost one. Put this card into your memory. Reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is an event or a shoochie character, put it in your hand. Otherwise, return to a original place. Continuous. Memory. During your turn, if this card is in your memory, all of your Sushi characters get plus 500 power. That's not bad. Close friend Kobachi. Good for her. She has 1,000 power. No level, no cost. Continuous. All of your other Financial Auditor Mika or Marching Band Mika get plus 1,000 power. I guess she's friends with Mika. Auto. One. Put one Climax in your hand into your waiting room. When this card is placed on stage from your hand or put into your waiting room from the stage, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one climax in your waiting room and return it to your hand. Ooh, pick a good one. Oh, wow, this is shiny. Very shiny. It is a super rare. How do we get a super rare before a rare? I don't know, we'll keep going, but still. 
Financial Auditor Mika. Isn't that the one we uh, had here? Yep, Miko. Oh, we got. Don't be mad. We got your buddy. There, you two can go get boba tea or something. Anyway, the hell? I guess two for it. Uh, Miko is ten thousand power, level three, cost two. Auto. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, you may put the top card of your clock into your waiting room. Auto CX combo. Pay one. Put one card from your hand into your waiting room. When this card attacks, if to set a good example for everyone is in your climax area, and you have two or more Suchi characters, you may pay the cost. If you do, deal two damage to your opponent, and this card gets plus three thousand power until the end of turn. Damage may be cancelled. Damn. Oof. I don't know what they're tanking in financial financial classes there, but goof. Uh, words of parting. Go to hell, dumbass. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, level two, cost one. If you do not have a Suchi character, this card cannot be played from your hand. Put this card in your memory. So, bite it. Uh, choose one of your characters, and that character gets the following two abilities until the end of turn. Continuous. This card cannot be chosen by your opponent's effects. Auto. This ability activates up to one time per turn. When damage dealt by this card is cancelled... Ooh. That would team up well with, uh... Miko. Uh, put the top card of your deck into your waiting room and deal X damage to your opponent. X is equal to the level of the card, plus one. Climaxes are regardless of level zero. Damage may be cancelled. So if the damage gets cancelled, you can do an attack where the damage can't get cancelled. Okay. Fine. Whatever. A uh, heart thumping situation. Miku Miyuki. Well, he's in a trainer, so who knows? Uh, 2000 power. Level zero, cost zero. Auto. Put one climax from your hand into your waiting room and activate one of your readied characters. When this character's trigger text reveals the climax with gold in its trigger icon. You may pay the cost. If you do, choose one climax in your waiting room and return it to your hand. Ah, huh, interesting. Uh, CX combo. Put one scene of the gym scene at the gym storeroom from your climax area into your waiting room. At the beginning of your encore step, you may pay the cost if you do. One sushi character in your waiting room. Choose one sushi character from your waiting room and return it to your hand. And, oh. And Kaguya wanting to undress him. Is there a rare? Uh, mm, that's concerning. 4500 power. Level 1, cost 0. Auto. When, you, when your climax is placed in, on your climax area, as you do, this card gets plus 1500 power until the end of turn. Auto. When this card's battle opponent becomes readied, uh, if there is a climax in your climax area, you may put the top card of your deck into your stock. Oof. And I think this one is a climax. Um. Yep. Wild Delusions. Okay. Uh, continuous. All your characters with plus 1,000 power and one soul. Uh, doorway. When this card triggers, you may choose one character in your waiting room and return it to your hand. Uh, well, we got a one-pack combo. Because, you know, you put a Climax in, she gets 1,000 from that, and 1,500 from her ability. So, that would be... Uh, I, 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 I am not mathing. Uh, let's see, we got the five, four, two, one, six, and that would make her 7,000 power. There we go. All right, um, let's do the rundown this time. Uh, you know, every pack I've gotten, all the cli climaxes are the, literally the same thing. All your characters get plus one pa plus thousand power and plus one soul. So I don't, I'm not even rating them anymore. I mean, literally all the same thing. Um, this is a very glittery rare. I do like that. 
Um, actually, that's pretty nasty for her uh, ability. You know, just take a climax and... I guess her climax is wanting to undress him. Uh, who is she wanting to undress? I don't know, I haven't seen the anime. If you've seen the anime, let me know who she wants to undress. It's probably, uh, some guy. Probably him. Uh... That's a if-then situation. If you got seen at the gym, gym storeroom, then the card works well. If not, eh, it's alright. Like I said, you need to... This one's kind of confusing for me. I mean, I'm sure those who play it know exactly what the hell's going on. Does anyone still play Wayne Schwartz? Or do people just collect it because it's the anime thing? I know recently they did a Disney set in Japan because there are different copyright laws over there. Um, which makes no sense. It's like, you know, Disney could literally have a contract with anyone, but they want to be assholes. Welcome to corporate America. Anyway, um, I mean, this is from a set that, includes, that has all Suchin characters. So, it doesn't really affect anything. Um, I don't know, it's, it's an alright ability. It's an alright ability. Um, it's it's alright. Like I said, I guess I'd have to see it in action. But, um, it, again, if then, if you have that climax, um... When the card attacks, if is in your climax, yeah. Which I don't think we have. We have Wild Illusion. So, it works. Otherwise, I mean, it's 10,000 power. That's pretty nasty in any situation. Um, but she helps. Close friend Kobachi. So, she would boost her a bit. And then, because I, well, like I said, I don't know if, um, what are you doing? Down? Okay. Like I said, I don't know if there's like you have to have color coding, like you can't have green with red or red with blue or red with yellow, or if you just like say screw it and throw it all together. I I need a rule book. I keep saying that. But um yeah, it it's good. It's a good little booster. Um If you're playing sushi, it's a perfectly good uh, ability to use. I, mean, I think it's just, yeah. doesn't say what, it's some action. We'll just call them actions right now. Um, well, I mean, if you're running a full sushi deck, then yeah, that one works really well. Um, so... Bring characters back. Um. So good to that in your waiting room. Is that good? This one's alright too. Our, her auto ability is good. I don't understand the clock thing. That's just me. But yeah. That one's pretty good. Uh. MVP. Huh. A game I really don't know much about. Let's see what the MVP would be. Yeah, honestly, I think I think I'm gonna give it to photo shoot. That's a pretty useful ability if you're, like I said, you know, scars in your memory, what you put into your memory when you play it. So it gives all your characters plus 500 powers. That's that's, that's versatile. I will say that is a very versatile piece. Uh, that is Wine Schwartz. Kaguya-san? Kaguya-sama? Kaguya-sama, love is war? Or is it peace? Or, I don't know. All's fair and love and hoagies, I guess. In any case, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a frenzy-tastic day.